of division H. When I asked about the team, he said he never had pets. The only place where he was closest to them was at his wife's place. And he believes pets have a huge responsibility and is not sure if it is for everyone. Please welcome Toastmaster Sunil Govind. Attempting a speech title, six snakes, three scorpions and few centipedes. Six snakes, three scorpions and few centipedes. Toastmaster Sunil Govind. In its most violent, it could be a tsunami. But what if I tell you that slow, seeping water can send chills down your spine? That's exactly what I saw sitting in the porch of my home in Kochi. It was 6 a.m. in the morning and we were sitting in the car porch and there was a puddle of water in front of our gate on the main road. My dad, they were determined and demanding. Father said, this keeps happening every time it rains. No problem. And I had so many other important things to do. Like, I had to go watch TV, YouTube, and then the second cup of tea. Yes, exactly, tea, not coffee. As we sat down for breakfast, the water had entered our car porch. And my dad, I have a determined. And demanding, Dad said, I've never seen that happen. But no problem. And we continued doing mundane things, like taking all our furniture and putting it up on the top floor, along with our clothes and some of my son's toys, just in case. Around 2 p.m., as we were getting into having our lunch, the water started seeping very slowly into our living room, through the windows. How can I ever determine that? Demanding that was not so determined and not so decisive. Or was he demanding when he said, we have By evening, the water had reached waist high in our home. And we decided that we'd pick up the essential items from our home and move to our cousin Ram's place. As we stepped out of the house, as I stepped into the water, the water was cold, moldy, and very ominous. It did send chills down my spine. As we approached Ram's house, we found even though it was in a high space, the water had reached its gate. It was just a few meters below the gate. We decided to spend the night there. Ah! The water is rising! cried my son in the night. After putting him to sleep, I stepped out into the porch of the house, into the torch, looking at the level of the water. It had risen ever so slightly. From that point onwards, every hour or so, one of us from the house would take the torch and keep looking at the level. Ever ready to pick up our stuff and go to higher ground. 48 hours, 
the water stood there for 48 hours. And then, thankfully, for our relief, it received. We went back home after the water had receded. Our house was in a mess. Standing there, looking at our house, my dad said, No problem. And then he turned and looked at my mom into our eyes and he said, Dear, this would be a good time to finally get the house clean. And my mom looked at him and said, Yes, I think I will get rid of some stuff I don't need. <laughs> and my dad looked at me and he said, when are you going back to Bangalore? Some things never change in spite of the situation. We opened our doors and the cupboards of the house. Snakes, scorpions, centipedes came out in dozens. 48 hours, six snakes, three scorpions, and many centipedes later, the house was disinfected and cleaned. As I say, stood there, I realized and I learned a lot of things from my parents about having guts, grit, and overall gratitude. I had a lot of gratitude because I had the opportunity to be with my parents in their time of need. And I was able to connect with my friends, family, and the community members in ways that I never thought possible because I'm in Bangalore. Dear friends, have you ever faced insurmountable odds? I was there. It took me some time to realize the type of calamity that I had gone through was something that happens once in a hundred years. All of us, or most of us, would never have to go through such dire circumstances. But yes, we have our own share of bad bosses, the big projects, and those brutal days when we feel, why did I get up in the morning? And it's easy to have negative thoughts. But what's important is to remember that just beyond the few snakes and the scorpions and centipedes is happiness. And I think even you can say it.